Good Saturday morning as always. Pipe smokers back at it. Rain showers off and on this weekend and it's going to be hot and humid. So I'm going to be indoors in the garage out here making some pipes. I started a, another series. Well, I mean, I've done it years ago, uh, bringing it back. A lot of people are being uh, requesting it here lately. Um, little uh, pocket shaped poker, st stubby poker pipes. I made three already and I already sold two of them. I got one still listed on eBay. I'll show you a few pictures. I'm gonna do a limited run of them. I'm gonna make them for a couple weeks and then I'll stop again. I'm gonna, I got uh, some more Morta ordered. I'm gonna go back to making some Morta pipes and I'll switch, I like switching things up. So I'll be making them for the next few weeks. Uh, contest, I wanna thank everybody for entering it. Uh, I did it. Uh, unusual way this time I let my wife just go down through I read all the names down and let my wife go all the way down through she doesn't know any of you trust me she doesn't watch my YouTube I let her pick out somebody randomly and she the name she liked that she thought was a catchy name was picking picking and piping so picking and piping you won the contest uh, either, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram but uh, if you do leave your information there and if not let me know and uh, I'll get in touch with you through here or on email. This morning I'm gonna do, I'm not looking probably forward to it. I don't know if it's gonna be, it's another Sotliff blend, Chart and First Bowl. Uh, consists of Orientals, Bright Red Virginias, pressed, lightly heated with a touch of Latakia. We'll see, maybe I'll be surprised. I got a quick story, too, to tell you about the boat this week. Let's get this cracked. Oh, my. That one was tight. My hand was a little wet from the coffee spilled on it. No, oh, there we go. with the magic of bloopers. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to leave the uh, cursing in because it got pretty uh, dirty, but uh, I locked my ashtray off the table. And as my tin off the table, I used for an ashtray. And as I did that, I locked, knocked the camera mount, the camera, everything fell on the floor. I had a few choice words. One of my Lotus lighters. I've showed them many times before. I really like these because they have the soft flame and then they also have torch lighter. I'm smoking that. This in my 1965 Dunhill Prince shape. Really love this pipe. Awesome pipe. Look at it. Excellent condition. I got this thing for a steal. The smell of this tin reminded me of uh, Squadron Leader. I can tell right away if you smoke it too hot, <clears throat> it's going to taste ashy and uh, actually I'm getting a little bit of tongue bite. I'm usually a faster smoker, most of the time. Just another okay blend, nothing fancy. You know how I am with uh, any kind of English blends anymore. They all taste the same.
I wouldn't say all of them, but uh, <clears throat> Timber Drifter had done a video there a couple weeks ago, and he was talking about some uh, Robert Lewis blends, and they are some best kept secrets. I've talked, I've reviewed them years, many years ago, and the Robert Lewis blends with the Latakia in them are some of the best blends out there. Uh, I can't remember what they were now. One, two, three mixture or tree mixture. The other was like Ursula. They are really good. If you haven't tried them, look them up. They're hard to find also, and they are pricey, but they're really good. I think they all have Latakia and Oriental and uh, some Virginias in them, but check them out if you haven't. This one isn't bad. It doesn't have a lot of lag key in it, so I, I do like that. It's just even being an English blend with Latakia in it, it still tastes like there's some kind of Sutliff topping on it. If you've had this one, let me know. Look at it! Look at it. I don't know if it's just in my head with Sutliff or not, but it just, it tastes like there's just something added to this and it doesn't need to be. Again, congratulations to picking and piping. My wife just, Pulled your name randomly. She just loved the catchphrase, the name. There was no uh, favoritism or anything like that going on because trust me, she doesn't know any of you that uh, had responded to the video. She only knows a couple of the older people on YouTube that uh, don't enter my contest. And a quick story, interesting story, sad story. Uh, the picture I showed you of me uh, under the bridge, the big bridge crossing Ohio and West Virginia, the picture doesn't do it justice because it's really high. Well, anyway, the other night, a guy had ran across, well, went across the bridge in his truck, stopped in the middle of the road, got out of his truck and ran over and jumped off the bridge. Apparently tried to commit suicide and uh, they didn't find the body but a, a local business there, a restaurant underneath the bridge along the riverfront had caught him on video camera surveillance, jumping off, <clears throat> jumping off and swim, make, trying to swim towards shore. Well, we so happened to be out that day on the boat, me and my wife and the DNR, the fire departments, the local police departments, the, all the volunteers, the local diving outfits, everybody was down there trying to find this guy. And they were having everybody at the marinas and everybody that was out, you know, keeping an eye out for him, looking for him. And I believe that happened on like Tuesday. Well, last night we had went back down there, not on a boat, but to dinner. That There's a nice restaurant down there that overlooks the riverfront and has nice decks out on the over top of the river. You can see, you know, the scenic views of the river and people on boats. And it's a really good restaurant. We were down there eating and as we were leaving, a bunch of fire trucks and state police and everybody was back down there again. And somebody, a local guy out on his boat, private guy, a fisherman on his boat, found the body. He finally popped up and surfaced and they, uh, but uh, sad. The guy was only in his thirties. My wife was like, could you imagine if we had found him? We were out there on the boat. This would definitely be a blend doing yard work for me. I'm only going to touch base on this once because... There's trolls everywhere, and believe me, they do not get to me at all. I could care less, you know. 
I'm not into the debates over politics, religion, sex, sports, you know, anything like that. I'm not going to argue with anybody over anything like that because you have your beliefs, I have my beliefs. Everybody has opinions like assholes. So that's something I've learned years ago. I, I don't care to even debate anything like that, except for sports. The Dallas Cowboys are the best team in the league. I'll, I'll debate that with you. <laughs> no, anyway, I had a guy, I'm not gonna mention his name. I, I, I blocked him. I don't know if he can go ahead and resub me back as another name or not, but this idiot, and he, I can call it like it is, he's an idiot sent me some messages the other day, was fuming mad at me because I did a review on a blend that apparently he likes. I've known the guy for years. I did a review on a blend he likes and he just went bonkers. He hated it. He hated me. He was cussing me out, saying all kind of crap. I mean, really? <laughs> some people are just morons it's pretty interesting now after all these years I've been doing this for at least 12 13 years now maybe longer been on YouTube pipe community uh, I haven't ran into too many like that so that's that's a nice thing to say about our community 99.9% .9 of the community is awesome I've rambled on long enough. Hope everybody has a great weekend. Uh, be back as always next week and uh, the force on a Tuesday next week. So I'm hoping everybody at work is going to take off that Monday the 3rd. I'll have another four day weekend. Talk to you boys and girls later.